For this kit bash corner, I'm going to be making something that I've had the idea to do for ages, actually. It's a big monster thing, Mimi Blob, for my night haunt. The night haunt was something incredibly exciting when they released at the start of second edition of Age of Sigma. The models were pretty unlike anything we'd seen up to that point. They had loads of use of like negative space and a hugely unique aesthetic that was inspired by what had come before, things like spirit hosts, Khan wraiths, and tomb banshees. They have a bunch of themes which I'm going to try and replicate on this model. Uh, so they're all kind of ghostly, and I'm going to be adding cloth and cloaks like the rest of the range to make it look like they're floating. Uh, they're all kind of flying, like not a lot of them have feet. And so I'm going to hopefully be making my model fly as well, and it will have wings. And I also want to make sure that it fits in with the rest of the aesthetic of my army. It's going to be ethereal, it's going to have a magical aura surrounding it as well. So there are two main kits that I'll be uh, kit bashing together to make this model. The first is obviously the Necron Void Dragon, and then the second one is Lady Alinda, the Mortark of Grief. The basic idea of this model is to fill in a lot of the body of the Void Dragon, add a bunch of flowing cloaks, chains, and night haunt bits, keeping the sort of magic energy that is keeping it in the air, and keeping a lot of its appearance, but kind of just shifting the design language into night haunt and away from Necron. They are quite similar, but um, Necrons are a lot more digital, more technology based, where night haunt is ethereal and floaty. So I've identified a number of challenges that I'll need to be solved in order to accomplish this model. So the first is that I need to de-digitize the model. Uh, so here I'm filling in the gaps in the arms, the legs and the chest. I use Milliput for this, making sure to keep my tools wet when working so it stays quite smooth. Um, I wasn't super neat. I think that, you know, trying to build up most, most of the muscles are already there. Uh, so just trying to fill in those gaps and making the arms and legs seem a bit more like a real body. The next thing I have to do is de the base and the magic and the wings. I use Milliput again to fill in most of the larger Necron scripts and symbols from the rocks on the base, as well as filing off the scarabs with my clippers. Um, I then had to do a similar thing on the magic areas uh, with the with the Milliput as well. And then for the wings, I kind of decided to swap out the Necron wings for the wings from Brightknoll the Grimhaler, uh, which are much more suited at being a Nighthorn model. Uh, next is the head. So I used one of the uh, Void Dragon's head, the one with the crystal, but I cut off the horns and the little magic bit in the middle, and I attached Lady Alinda's crest instead. This means that the head has that like extra uh, night haunty vibe, uh, but I wanted to use the crystal as like a focal point for the model, um, using the crystal in the head, the chest, and on the hand as like spot colors. So it was, it was important to keep that, I think. For the weapon, I wa really wanted to keep a weapon on this model. I tried to make a scythe out of his spear, but I didn't really have a blade big enough. It just looked kind of awkward. So in the end, I made it into this like magical staff. Uh, unfortunately though, when I went to put the arm on the model, um, the staff interfered with where the wings were, and I didn't feel like I could make like a sword or anything uh, convincingly and be night haunty. So in the end, I just cut the weapon off and I gave it like this just like fist um, that I thought I would I would cover in some sort of gore or blood uh, to make it look like he sort of just punched his way through someone. And then finally, uh, we added cloaks and chains. So I used. Um, chain and cloth to cover up any of my dodgy joints, my dodgy sculpting, as well as to tie into the night haunt theme of like prisoners and like the condemned, that kind of thing. Uh, with that all done, I just attached it to the base uh, and on the base I added um, some gates and other night haunty little bits uh, to make it look like he's kind of busted out of some sort of prison. And then all I had to do was paint it.
So thanks for watching this video of this Nighthawk Kiss kit bash. Um, I already posted it out on Twitter and a couple other places and I had some really good feedback. Uh, it was featured on the Warhammer TV Twitch stream the other day and so I'm really happy with how this model came out. I, uh, especially when it, you see it with the rest of my army. I think it looks absolutely incredible and could not be happier uh, with how it came out. So thank you very much for watching this Kitbash Corner video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.